Good morning and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditec, CTO of DVS. No, it's not Dappy at N-Dubs, although the hat does give it away. My custom one-of-a-kind DVS hat with head torch built in. And then when I'm in distress, point it at the sky and hopefully one of my super friends will come and save me. But today's video, after all the feedback we got of the color view video, I'm doing another further extended test. So we're outside in my lovely DVS compound. The camera's up there on the rig, one of my many cameras. I've actually turned off all the cameras next to it. Um, so it's actually powered on its own. As you can see, there is compound lighting on. We're gonna turn that off shortly, so it'll give a more accurate test. So we'll do a test with the light on, with the light off, and with the built-in white light, so you'll see it on the web browser. Um, hope you enjoy the video. It's just another further extended test that everybody has asked for. So stay tuned, stay focused, and we'll see you in two seconds. Okay, as you can see, I'm back. So we're at the web browser now. We're tuned into the uh, color view camera. So in configuration, you can see there's the model number there, and it, we're on the latest firmware ads of today. Don't forget, always check <coughs> firmware version. It does improve performance and functionality. Um, and the external device, we've got the white light. We're gonna turn that off, enable. So just make sure we're gonna turn that off. It's on manual, but we don't want that white light coming on at all. Uh, back to the live view. We have forced the camera into day mode, so it shouldn't come on anyway. But I'm gonna show you the differences. So what you'll see there, I put two cones out, one at about 10 meters, one at about 20 meters. So I'm gonna do the walk of shame out to 10, 20 meters. Um, I set it up as four megapixel, 25 frames a second um, with the compound lighting on. So I'm gonna do that test really, really quickly. Um, then I'm gonna turn the lights off, then I'm gonna turn the white light on. So give me two seconds and I'll be back. Okay, there was the web browser. Uh, it's lagging a little bit, but we've got the, that was with the compound lighting on. I'm gonna go and turn the compound lighting off and then turn the light in the warehouse off so it doesn't give any additional light in through that door. So give me two seconds. Okay, so that is actually quite dark out there, believe it or not. I can still see the cones. We've got some additional street lighting, which is obviously helping enhance that. Um, quite impressed with how dark it is and hopefully how well the ca camera performed. I'm quickly going to go into configuration, turn the white light back on, adjust it to 100%. And for timing, I'm going to turn it on so it is on now. 1800 to six o'clock go okay so i can see the reflection of the white light already coming off the reflective strips of the cone and you can see that white light curve there i'm going to go out there again do the 10 and 20 meter test and then we'll come back
Okay, so I'm back. I'm gonna go and turn all the lights back on in here so you can see me. So give me two seconds and we'll pick this back up. Okay, so the lights are back on in here so we can actually see something now. I'm just gonna show you the effects of changing that brightness. So under configuration, external device, so manual and auto. So auto will be um, when it decides the, l l the light is low enough to bring the white light on or we can adjust it man. So oh, let me start again. Auto is let the camera decide the brightness adjustment or manual as you set and I set it as a hundred percent um I guess most would set that as auto the timing and auto is auto is let the camera decide when the light level is low enough to bring the white light on and timing is when we've just set it to manually come on between those times to answer all those questions yes I am still trying to get a firmware made that links the white light to come on through a VCA action or even motion VCA preferred but if we adjust that down to say 50%, or oh, that's not quite 50, but it'll do. Go back into live view. And you can see there's actually made a little bit of a difference to the brightness of that picture. Again, if I go back and adjust it to 100%. And when you're looking at the camera from a distance, the white light is quite bright. So it does look like, um, like an LED security light. Uh, which also could act as a deterrent, but also if somebody does enter that area, they're more likely to look at the camera to get better details when they do so. So there's definitely that added bonus. Change it back to 100, go back to live view. Okay, so there is more white light there. I'm just going to go and turn the outside light back on a second, guys. So you can see now, I've turned the exterior lights back on. So the sun packs are slowly warming up. You can see that's one of our compound lights there. The sun packs are slowly warming up. You can see the difference that is making to the image. So having reviewed the footage, I'm actually quite pleased with it, considering um, the low light performance it gave. What I would say, like any camera really, the more light you give it, the better. Another point to look out for is if you've got cameras with infrared in the area, just be a little bit careful because the infrared LED, if it shines into the camera or, or, or it's adjacent to it and it's in the field of view, you'll get like a purpley haze on there. So camera placement is probably more critical when you're using this technology than anything else. Uh, so, but uh, again, if you need any help or advice, please contact us here at DVS. We're more than happy to give that help and advice. Other than that, I hope you really enjoyed the video. It's quite early in the morning. I came in especially to do this before the light level breaks too quickly. I'm going to go and enjoy a nice cup of coffee, but please, please, please keep liking, sharing and subscribing. I can't even talk. Um, feel sorry for me. I got a cold and I still managed to come in. For those of you... Um, that are interested more new technologies coming in the coming week so please stay tuned for that cheers guys and see you soon bye now